Don't worry, this won't take long. Good evening, one and all. I suspect you're wondering why I've gathered you here tonight. Yes, we certainly are, Poirot. Looks a lot like Eddie Wainthrop. <laughs> Somebody here has committed a murder. And until we find out who it was, nobody is going home. It was me. <laughs> Do you know what I'm on about? No idea. It's just my default position, taking the blame for everything. What the hell are you talking about, Lee? Somebody here has killed something. Shall I tell you what that something is? Yes. But can you say it really dramatically and fully milk the moment? <laughs> oh, no, wait, you have. <laughs> the something in question is the trust that my darling wife has in me. So nobody has actually been murdered? Of course not. Oh, I don't know. The night is young. <laughs> I see. So you're still pretending it wasn't you, then? I'm not pretending. It wasn't me. It was somebody in this room. Yes, you. And if you go into the kitchen, it'll be somebody in the kitchen. <laughs> what on earth is this about? We really do need to get going. Perhaps you'd like to fill everybody in, Lucy. You know my blue and white vase? The one that used to belong to Nan? Ugly old thing. Didn't hold water properly. Don't! <laughs> I remember Mother giving it to you. Not much of a family heirloom, a vast. <laughs> oh, it's amazing what silly little things people pass on from generation to generation. Some people have vases, some have alcoholism. <laughs> to be honest, it was hidden away for years. Yeah, a bit like alcoholism. <laughs> but recently I got it out again, and when I came home today, it was lying on the floor, completely smashed. Well, the similarities keep on coming, don't they, Frank? <laughs> Sure, the children didn't break it. Yeah, they were out of the house all day with me. It could only have been Lee. I don't think it had much monetary value, but it had lots of sentimental value. It was my nan's. I'm sorry about your vase, Lucy. I really am. But what the hell has this got to do with any of us? Please allow me to explain. I came home from work today, five minutes before Lucy, to find the vase of flowers smashed on the floor. Naturally, I went into the kitchen to get a dustpan and brush to sweep it up. And that's when Lucy entered. This is gripping stuff. <laughs> Let's hope Meryl Streep is available for the Crime Watch reconstruction. <laughs> and that's when Lucy accused me of breaking it. She berated me and threatened me with all kinds of punishment. No, I didn't. They said our usual Fruity Friday was cancelled. <laughs> fruity? If it means they're getting five a day, I'm impressed. <laughs> But then afterwards, it got me thinking. Hang on, I've actually got proof that it wasn't me. What proof? If I had broken that vase five minutes before you came in, why wasn't the rug still wet? In fact, given it's now only 6.15, you'd expect it to be a little bit damp now, right? It's bone dry. Oh, very cleverly. Yes. Like when a monkey completes a two-piece jigsaw. <laughs> Which means somebody else must have broken that vase earlier in the day whilst I was at work. And who are the only other people that know where we hide the spare key for the house? You lot. I can't believe we've been dragged all the way over here just because of a petty domestic squabble. Yes, we could have stayed at home for one of those. 